competitive game, which it was, and we wanted the fitness component, which it was. In the way they use their center backs, well, Ch Chanel and the way he uses his ability to just find people in between space, and uh, Murillo and the way he actually dribbles the ball through, you know, what are some of the things that maybe you have to do to ensure that that doesn't affect you guys in that part of the game? Well, we might let them come forward a little bit so we can use them in transition. Were you pretty, how, how would you assess what you got out of this, you know, going on three week break? Did you, were you happy with the work that you guys put in? Were you I'm happy very with happy with the players, the effort, the application, happy with the coaching staff. I think it's good. It's going to be challenging. There's going to be a little rust kick off, but, you know, it's part of the gig. What does it mean to have Jordan back for this upcoming game after it being good. unavailable? Jordan, Albert, everybody, Paul, it's, it'll be good. How exciting is it to get an opportunity to, to play a meaningful game later in the season and to be able to go out there to LA and, and somebody who you probably struggle with, but you go in with a different mentality. I mean, we just spoke with Christian and he mentioned that, you know, the mentality is good. Everybody's excited about it. How important is it to have that, that positive mindset going from there? I think they all, you know, even when, look, even when we were struggling earlier in the year, internally, they still had a good mindset. They had a good mentality. They were determined. I would say. And so how does that translate into a one game, winner go home, winner go on, loser go home? How does that translate? Well, it's all the work you do throughout the course of the year. It's the messaging. And you hear from Christian and other players that it's sunk in. So they'll be ready. They'll be up for it. Brian, you talked about transition. At some point, you play transition. How important is for the awareness for the players to know when to go up with, in that transition and when to stay back? Well, we're not going to shy away. We're not going to change dramatically who we are. We're still going to press high, low kicks. If we have possession in there, half of the field, we're going to counter. -pro it's, not, it's not like we're going to change everything. There's just subtle tweaks that we have to make because we haven't got good results against them. But we're still good team still had the best record in the last half of the year and we're not gonna you know completely draw something up new and then obviously your defense best in the league 35 goals yeah they're pretty good defensively though too yeah how do you it'd be feel good it'd be a good game how do you feel about returning to the normal format um you know not having to go straight to the finish but I'll shoot them. uh well, we're still practicing them. Uh, you guys saw it today, but, you know, it's 90 minutes plus overtime. You know, the chances of getting the penalties is a little further down the road, but we won't be afraid to, you know, if we get there, I think we have a good shot. At any point in the last couple of weeks, have you heard the word revenge used in that building? Yeah. Yeah. We're a good team. They're a good team. We're going to make some tweaks. I'm sure they've had two weeks to, you know, fine tune what they want to do. Should be a good game. Brian, what's do you, do you hyper focus on guys like Bogut and Denis Buanga yep. to just eliminate them from the game? Is that we're gonna try? Easier said than done. But yeah, we know where they're dangerous. The data shows it very clear. So we'll we'll see what we can do. Big games like this in any sport. How much do you talk about? overcoming adversity because there's going to be some type of adversity in whatever team's able to do that. How much messaging do you go sure. into that? Well, we can set up, we can suddenly change tactics, change the team, do what we need to do, but in the flow of the game, players have to make good decisions, they have to make plays, they have to adjust, small adjustments. That's why I love smart soccer players. The one constant that has been part of our DNA since we've been here, since I've been here, is the mentality piece is the one that never goes away. There'll be subtle shifts here, a little bit of tweak here, something over here, adjustments. But if the players have the right mentality going into the game, that gives them the best chance to win. When you're reflecting